You never know what could be in here, guys. You just don't know. Oh, we found a game. Heck yeah, dude. Perfect. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand shops like, like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I absolutely love collecting these nostalgic pieces from my childhood, from my past, but it's not fun to me to just jump online, to get on eBay and buy this stuff. It is all about the thrill of the hunt. And today, uh, me and Tommy are back out there hunting at the Copper Penny Flea Market. I love this flea market. I don't think we have ever been to this particular flea market and not scored big, and today is no different. The last time we went here, we found this sick Taz phone, and this time, again, it is no different in terms of all the stuff that we found. Uh, we found all the things that I love, and we got them super, super cheap. So before we get into it, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin subscribe button every single Monday and Thursday. We're coming out with new retro nostalgic type content and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into the hunt. Uh oh, Tommy's already see seen no, it's, something. It's that same shelf we always see with like the weird lotions and stuff. Ooh, chocolates. A dollar fifty. Pick them up. Oh my, very colossal crunch. Did you go grocery shopping at the flea market? <laughs> <laughs> grocery shop at the flea market. That is so much five gone. That is the uh, title of the video. I like that this is like the knockoff, but it's also expired. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> worst case scenario. Look at this, Tommy. Look at the bezel on that guy. He must work out. Thick. That thing's beefy. VHS, VHS, X-Man, Home Alone 2. Guys, all right, what's your pick? Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2? Don't say Home Alone 3, 4, 5, whatever. Only Macaulay Culkin Home Alones are the real deal. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus and it's Elf. I mean, I think I like Home Alone 1 better. Home Alone 2 is, I mean, they literally were like it's, talking about murdering that child. So it got a little dark. Oh, sorry. Dude, remember these? Oh, Do you remember, remember Point of Grace? Not really. Every but. single kid at 90s church camp knew that. Got some board games. Ooh, I see something, man. Girl talk. Tell me, open this up real quick. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Dude. Is it tape? Look at these hunks. Oh, man. No way. So last time you were playing Girl Talk, the game with Truth or Dare, and it was so hilarious. He's the nerd, apparently. He's he, the, he's... He, pro he probably grew up to like get like real buff and in shape and like make a million dollars. Oh, I just want to see the phone. Oh. That's a rip off. There's no phone? How can you sell this? He loves travel and stays up late, hates TV and soap operas. They're selling expired cereal and girl talk board games without the phone. I can't get behind that. This is a vintage Lego set, probably with nothing in it. All right, no lie, right here is a drawing of John Wayne. That's not bad. It's a decent job on that. Any, any board games over here, Tommy? Hey, you got some Star Wars figures there. You don't need any uh, spray paint, do you? This is the thing, guys. You can't lose heart when you're at flea markets because you're gonna see spray paint, expired cereal, these marbles, but you never know. There could be gold, and I'm believing we're gonna find that gold today. Okay, we found some we found some comics. We got Dynamo Joe. We are learning a lot about comic books series that we never heard of. Man, there are just so many comics. I'm not interested. Are you? I mean, this is this looks like some sort of knocked off Dungeons and Dragons thing. All these monsters. Uh, it and probably stuff. is. Ooh, that one's cool. Visionaries. Oh man, I'm, I just missed this one. Dude. Yeah. So here, let's get these. I'm probably gonna send these to my to my buddy Jay, NES addict. Yeah, actually, that's actually exactly what I want. If this is the visionaries that I'm thinking about, the one from the 80s, and there was like the toy line, 
Those are pop popples, right? Yeah, yeah, popples. Okay. I was, at first, I thought it was Care Bears. Yeah, I think popples was an '80s thing too. Tommy, you are 36. Yes. So we we don't know a ton about like the mid '80s. You know, late '80s, early '90s is kind of our sweet spot. But now my popples, siblings are all 80s. like a decade older than me, so I'm still living in the '80s quite a bit and listen to a lot of '80s music and stuff at the time. But... Okay, so he's knowledgeable. He's Not more more much. knowledgeable than me. We got some Gordy. Did you watch this one, Tommy? Meet America's newest hero. If a pig can make it, anyone can. Sickening. Because there was Gordy and there was the uh, uh, babe. babe. Like the pig movies came out at the same time. That's kind of weird that they both came out. No, well, I mean, they, that happens though. Remember like when Bugs Life came out and Ants came out? It feels like every time like some type of movie comes out, there's like a bunch of them that all kind of That's true. Because I bet, I, I mean, I'm guessing at this point that Babe wasn't Disney. So like Disney yeah, had to have their, studios. Disney had to have their, uh, their pig movie. Stuntman. Do you know what this is? When they look, oh, when they look like this, it's a rental. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is a yes movie gallery specifically. Well, they had that on their uh, movies too. Yes. Movie. Zumba two, Men in Black two, Envy, yeah, <laughs> Jack Black. Some I Love Lucy. How dare you say that? Rolly, holy, holy. Remember these blockbuster sleeves? Whenever Blockbuster was oh, trying to compete wow. with Netflix. With Netflix? No, yeah. I've never even seen that. Yeah, because I used to have the Blockbuster and the Netflix. So you, I, I would get, because like, I was trying to watch like all of Smallville. And so I would get like <laughs> oh, seven discs at one time and binge it. And I would do it between the two series. Hey, what the heck? Oh, is, it, is, it, is it The Sopranos, I guess? For some it reason, is. I had Smallville in my head now. So I was just like thinking that. like, Whoa, wait a minute. Have you found out something? Clean what? films? Family filtered movies. These are those ones where you could order it and they would like edit the movie to make it like safe for the for whole family, family to watch. And it was like a Netflix type thing and like you would, they would send it in and you'd, you'd get it in the mail. Clean films? What? Yeah, right. I know. It was like If there's a uh, commercial or any information, Netflix. we'll add it in right there. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play. Hey, look at this. Here are PS4 games. At the thrift, at the flea market, man. Mm, Points for zombies. Another thing people get really upset with me about Tommy is how I call everything a flea market. Because this is what, they're, they're like, no, this is an antique store whenever they have booths. Y'all saw the front of the building. It said flea, flea market. Flea market. <laughs> that's we're, what, we're like in the flea market capital. That's of... what they call them. And where we live, you guys might call them something, something different. But this is the booth that has some pretty cool stuff. Let's see if it's here. Uh oh, I don't know if I see it, guys. All right, let's just start over here first. So we got some Marvel Legends figures. Ooh, got a Ghostbusters figure. Were you a Ghostbusters fan? Yeah, I was. So that's pretty, pretty rad. Some flashbacks, six bucks. Oh, Pitfall, loved Pitfall. And I don't see, I don't see it. A lot of people are doing this right now, Tommy. The cards. They're selling, yeah, they're buying like those boxes specifically. And you know, they're buying them for 60, 70 bucks, putting them in flea markets for 120. And I bet they're selling because people are trying to pull those Zion, man. WrestleMania. Did you watch wrestling when you were a kid? I wasn't allowed to. I wasn't allowed to watch it. Too too violent, right? Battle Cat. So you can buy that Battle Cat. You can buy that at Walmart for I think 15 to 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm good. Ooh, Tommy. We hit it big. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine? We should totally, we should totally buy one and open one up. Hold on. What? Second edition series four? How many of these things did they make? Could you imagine having a channel where you open just Beanie Baby packs? <laughs> oh man, it would be huge. Viral, instant viral video. All right, we're gonna for some reason buy one of these packs and see what is in there. I hope we get the Princess Diana card. So right here, Tommy is a pog book. You traded my soul for pogs? That we found last time we were here. But check this out, I gotta tell you a story about this. Okay, so you open this up and there's a name in it right here. Katie there, Camferdam. We don't know, but there was a girl that, uh, I, I think her friend was watching the video and her friend is, that's her name. And she was like, I wonder if that's hers. And she sent it to her and she said that those were her pogs. <laughs> If that's true, I, I, I mean, I don't know if someone's just messing with me, but can you even imagine if that legitimately? Dude, they're 15 bucks if she wants them back. <laughs> <laughs> do you want your pogs back? I mean, do you got some sick ones? Oh yeah. I mean, Let's see a... what eight balls are, because there's gotta be eight balls. Everybody had eight ball pogs. What's more 90s than like a hollow foil? That's like the, uh, there's actually a mascot. There's a mascot yep. of the pog. And I kept all mine in my NFL quarterback club lunchbox. Well, Katie, I'm bringing the heat. They're here. If those were $5, I'd buy them, but I'm already buying my Beanie Baby cards and I can't spend any more money today. I'm just kidding, but I'm not spending 15 on those. 
you find? Whoa, that is actually This is like audio. Really cool. These are audio books. Like, are they all Star Wars? Star Wars Volume 3. These two are. I don't know. They... These are like country western looking ones. Plus other tape collection, $9. Book of the Road. These are cool though. I need more water. Then perhaps you can tell him when he arrives. The Emperor's coming here? That is correct, Commander. This is yeah, part one and part two. This might just be the, this is probably just a book. Part one and part two, it's probably just a two part book. But those would be cool to just pick up by themselves. Yeah, like I don't even like, if they made us buy all that, we would just throw this out in the trash can on the way out. I don't want to miss this vintage camel like neon sign. That's pretty saucy, man. Yeah, I remember these Neons are popping. You never know what could be in here, guys. Some Tekken 5. Three! Heck yeah, dude! We found a game! Tekken 5, that's a great game. Three bucks is a great price. Okay, got Rock Band. I wish we could find some of those like 90s movies that like aren't the staples that everybody knows, but they're the ones that everybody remembers, but like forgets the name. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like remote. Things took a turn for the worse. School called. When I get home, young man, I'm going to confiscate every model in the house. Oh, oh the remote is like the Home Alone with uh, remote control, control cars. cars. Yep. I actually have that movie. And then there was like, uh, like the movie where the kid had like a, a skateboard that he had electric thing that he'd push it. To skateboard get... kid? Yeah, like those types oh, of- Oh yeah, I love those. Nobody talks about those. I mean, and they're good. I mean, they're, I say they're good. They were good when we were younger and didn't have any sense of what was good or bad. I'll tell you this. I will never get sick of going to flea markets. I don't know no, why it's like, it's always, always a thrill. Play, the thrill of the friggin' hunt. Last time I was in this booth. Okay, this is what's crazy. I see it already, Tommy. I've been in this booth two times in the past two or past year. Last time I came, or two times ago I came, I found a Mario Kart phone. Last time I came, I found a Taz telephone. And this time, there's a goofy oh one. <laughs> That's so wild, man. And I love Goofy. It's Goofy. Does his eyes like light up or something? They probably knew. Yeah, look. When it's ringing. Where does this person get all these amazing phones? I can't start, I, I can't become a phone collector, even though I have two. That is really cool. Uh, whoa. What's this Mickey doing up here? Is he a bank? He is a bank. Tommy, we almost just missed this. Is it Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad? No, I think it's a Power Ranger situation. Like one of the newer, not newer, but like Power Rangers in space or something maybe. Okay, how much is that? Almost any Power Ranger thing at this point. I, I don't mean, see any. Here it is. Power Ranger Robot, $12. This is from... It doesn't... Oh, oh, it shoots these things. It put, you put bullets oh, in them and it wow. shoots them. Shh, 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 shh. What a weird thing. Like, I mean, y'all know my son is Power Ranger crazy. For my son! I'm going to think on that one. I've really cool. Yeah, I stopped like 96. That's kind of where I stopped watching. Tommy, were you a big uh, reader of the Guinness World Record books? I loved, I used to get them. Yes, I used to get them from my library. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all this stuff in here. Mostly DVDs, it looks like. I don't see any games. Here is Superman, Batman, Public Enemies movie. Some yoga, fat burning ab attack, Smurfs. The World of Wonders. The Ghost of Dickens. That's scary sounding. I remember this little cartoon. It's did the you? same studio. That oh, FHE? TMNT? Yeah. yeah, they did TMNT stuff. Tommy, did you have a, uh, did you have a pencil box? The Stackers brand? Oh, yeah. At the house, I have a uh, Mario Kart pencil box from the 90s. Oh, Pretty these rash. are gel pens. Someone was, dude. Oh, they're rich. They are pimping. Rich kid. Okay, this is pretty sweet. Check this out. Whose line is it anyway? Uncensored edition. Dude, I love this show. Sometimes I snore so bad it gives myself gas. Ooh. I don't care about Elmo, Tommy. I care about this right here. Look at these. Look at these ET glasses. Five glasses for 10 bucks. Here's the only thing though. Do you think that's like the coloring or do you think it's lost its color? Well, I think that's the coloring of it. Do you? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, this red looks like it's it's popped out pretty good. I'll be right here. I like these. These are two bucks each. Did not expect to find some ET glasses for ten bucks for the whole set. So I know where these are. I'll, I'll come back at the end. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. To get this, that's cheap. I mean, anywhere else, those are always five to ten each. That's the that's the Pluto and the Smurf world. 
it's gotta be. Last time I was here, I found Rad, the BMX DVD, but it was a bootleg. <laughs> it was, it was a, I bought it. Of course. <laughs> I bought it, but it didn't work. Oh. I don't know why. I don't know why it didn't work. Well, how crazy. More pencil boxes. $5? I feel like you could get that at Walmart real easy for a dollar or two. Uh oh, Tony found some games. $5 sports games, it looks like. Pass on that every day of the week. Some more DVDs. Yeah. You, know, I, you know, I liked yeah. Bill Nye, Bill, 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 the science Bill. guy. Bill, Bill, Bill Nye, the science guy. Dude, do you remember the other guy that was kind of like this? Oh, yeah, uh, Beekman's, Beekman's World. World. Yeah. yeah. But for a while, my. Uh, my internet, my, my internet handle for my house, <laughs> what do you, whatever you call that, it was Bill Y the Science Five. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why I thought that, I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Hey, just a lookout or just a heads up, I guess I should say. Any Clue games? If you find Clue, Clue games that are like different shows, be on the lookout. So like Clue, uh, the Office version is worth like forty bucks. The Seinfeld one, they're just they're just pretty valuable. So be on the lookout. Beanie Babies, just a whole rack of Beanie Babies with the protective tag cover. Here's some McDonald's, McDonald's stuff. Mini, Mickey, lots of Smurf. Pokemon, some legendary. Mm. What are these? They're all the exact same. What is this? What is it? Oh, they're all Babysitter Club. Babysitter's Club. Dude, I loved all these Halloween books when I was a kid at the library. You're talking about checking out those Guinness Book of Old Records? Yeah. I would always check out Halloween books around Halloween. You love... I've learned this about Tommy. He really loves holidays, like the holiday shows. Yeah, the it would be like specific, you know, Hey Arnold Halloween or whatever it would be. Dude, this is Sony brand Walkman, dude. These actually sell pretty well. There's no price on and it. And it's got a bunch of gear right here, 20 bucks for the whole thing. Oh, 20. It's got all the gear. Dude, it's got a remote Whoa. control. Gosh. Is this is the fancy. ESP Max with the car kit. 24 hour stamina, anti-skip. Protects your music from almost any jumps, skips, or sudden stops. Pretty sweet. Wait, is there anything in here? No, that's why I call music volume 30. Come on. Ah, uh, if there was a bonus disc, maybe. Huh? But it does have the. Uh, oh, dude, here. this was this was the only way to listen to your phone or CD player in the car because it wouldn't you wouldn't lose connection. I had that in my car up until like literally five years ago. There's a bunch of games, but they're all. They're all American Idol, Sing It, sports games that aren't worth looking at getting. Guitar Method, play like ACDC, 750, goodness. Some more games. Whoa, I see a hefty price tag already. 15 for Toy Story 3. That has to be about what it's worth. Bruh. I can't imagine it being being much more than that. This the same with this. These Lego games are really good and they're fun, but they don't they just don't have a ton of value. And I'm not I'm not trying to come to the flea market and pay pay top dollar for games unless it's one that I really needed. People talk about that too. Here's my my theory on this, Tommy. Is like if I can get a game, why would I buy it for the same price at a flea market when I can sit on my couch at my house? I don't know. And since you have to find something m ms every time you go somewhere, and people want Hot Wheels, boom, we found both. Oh, they'll get mad. That's not Hot Wheels, man. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like Hot Wheels. More games. More games. Project Gotham Racing 2. Moto GP 2. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. OG Xbox, man. You don't see that all too often. I don't need any of those, but decent, or at least decent to see, uh, to see some games with the flea. Whoa, look at this Pepsi. Look at this Pepsi, man. Not only is it super old and never opened, but also it's in this box sold in the, what, what? Have you ever seen this before? It says sold in the early 90s. Is this like, is this like messing with me right now? Is this like a newer thing? Why would it say sold in the early 90s? See yeah, what I'm saying? But it's a limited edition bottle though. I mean, yeah, look at that Coke or that Pepsi. Yeah, dude. I just have never seen anything, you know, that has said from the early 90s. Like, that's strange to me. I do see some toys. I see some toys. What is this? I'm getting decently excited. Whoa. Dude, he's rad. How old is this? Well, he's only two bucks first off. What is this from, Tommy? 
see if we can't find some info on that. Here is something else. This feels really cheap. Like, that, this feels... Yeah, that doesn't look like it's... It, yeah, it almost looks like a generic thing. That looks like an actual robot toy from something. What went into If y'all know, sure. Power Rangers, Gundam. Well, he's cheap enough that we'll get him and maybe we can figure out what exactly he's from. Then we have a Buzz in the car. We have a Yo-Yo. Transformer. All right, I think that's it. I'm gonna go check out those ET cups. Make sure that that is the color that they're supposed to be and they're not supposed to be like brighter. If, if they're too faded, I'll probably skip, but. Ooh, look at this, wait. Here's a phaser, type one Star Trek phaser, collector's edition. I was checking to see if the phasers still operate. All right, I'm gonna check out the ET glasses and we'll meet back uh, in the game room. I'm telling you guys, every single time we take a trip to the Copper Penny, we score big. We score tons of stuff, super, super cheap. So let's jump into all of these pickups. The first thing we got are these Visionaries comic books. Now I know very little to nothing uh, about Visionaries. The only reason why I even knew the name is because a couple of months ago in the Toy Federation episode, Jay, NES Attic, he has a great uh, a great YouTube channel. Go, go check it out if, you, if you've never seen it. He actually picked up some little figures of Visionaries and I didn't know anything about them. He started telling me, it, it, apparently it was like a really big show, cartoon show back in the uh, mid 80s. So it just predated uh, all the stuff that I used to watch, but um, apparently a huge animated show back in the day. And I thought this would be a good introduction for me to Visionaries are these comic books. Uh, I think a dollar each for these and that's actually how much they were uh, back, what, 35, 35 plus years ago. So uh, these are both really cool looking. I like the, the cover art on both of these and I, I've said it a thousand times, my favorite part is all of the ads. So you got back here, you got Popples. I don't even think there's any video game ads in these at this point. Yeah, there's like a little Casio a little Casio keyboard. So these are cool. Again, this is my first introduction to Visionaries. The figures uh, are super expensive, but I figured I could splurge for a dollar each on both of these comics. Next up are two cassettes, like legit cassettes. I think they're audiobooks of Star Wars. It's Champions of the Force, part one and part two. So these were in that little cassette holder with a bunch of cassettes for like eight or nine dollars for all of them. I didn't want any of the other ones and I brought these up to the front and I said, hey, is it possible to get just these two? Because I don't want all the other ones. I'm gonna just literally throw them away uh, if, if I buy all of them. And they said, yeah, let's let's do a, a dollar each. So we got these for a dollar each. I just like collecting this stuff. Again, I have friends that like Star Wars stuff and I like to pick up this stuff if I can get it cheap enough uh, to give to them. So uh, these are pretty cool to get for only two bucks. Next up are these Beanie Baby cards. Guys, these have never been opened. We're about to do an unpacking uh, of 1999 Beanie Baby collector cards. We're about to open these up live on camera. Let's freaking do this. All right, right off the bat, they seem to be like embossed, like legit. What? I got a hologram foil card right here. You got a uh, puffer. Check it out. Even holograms uh, in foil cards in friggin' Beanie Baby packs? These are all really boring. Bongo. All right, well, we did get one cool looking one and it is Puffer, so I don't know. It Maybe maybe y'all know down below if like every one of these packs came with a with a hollow foil, but we, get, we did get Puffer and that was extremely uneventful to open up. So our only video game pickup was Tekken 5. I was actually really surprised that we saw this and we saw it uh, for so cheap. I think it's like a 15 to $20 game and I've always uh, enjoyed uh, the Tekken series, especially uh, Tekken in the arcade, but, but cool to get a video game, uh, at least a good one, pretty cheap. Most of the time at flea markets nowadays, you're seeing Madden games, sports games, uh, and they're all a dollar or two, but to actually find a good game cheap was amazing. Okay guys, this next piece was something that me and Tommy knew nothing about. I threw up on Instagram. Uh, you guys always help me so much on Instagram. Uh, I was like, who is this guy? Who is this cat? I don't know who it is. And everybody and their mom told me this is from Gundam. I, I had no idea, um, but uh, now looking at it, I I've seen a couple Gundam things in my time. Uh, just kind of hunting for things and doing research on, on you know, 90s retro toys and stuff like that. And this is indeed uh, from Gundam, I think 1998 or 1999. So uh, as cheap as this was, I had to pick it up uh, for just a couple bucks, but really cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him yet. I'll probably end up selling him at Retropalooza 
get him to somebody that really wants to add him to their collection. And lastly, we picked up a set, five ET glasses. Now three of them are different and then there's two doubles uh, of some of the other ones. So here is this first one that just says home and he's uh, tucked in there with all of the different stuffed animals. I'm telling you, I keep finding ET stuff and it's wild. I never found ET stuff back in the day and now like every sing single flea market I'm finding stuff. These are actually limited edition from Pizza Hut. I don't know how many are in this set, but we have uh, at least three of them. This is my favorite, just the classic. He's looking up into the moon and they're going past the moon. Uh, phone home. I love that one. I thought at first that they were like maybe a little faded, but all of the ones that I'm seeing online are, are basically the same coloring. So. I think we did good. And then this one says, I'll be right here. I love these. I would love to have like a whole shelf of just like glasses that I collect. Um, right now, most of these are just kind of residing in my kitchen and I use them whenever I want, you know, to drink my drink at dinner. And I drink out of old <laughs> vintage 80s and 90s cups. But guys, that's it. A ton of great stuff. We scored all of the things that I love, super cheap. You guys tell me down below, what was your favorite thing uh, that we saw or that we found at the Copper Penny. As always, thank you guys for hanging out, for watching the video. If you guys would, it helps out the channel incredibly if you like the video. Only, only if you are enjoying the content. Also, subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, peace.